Hello YouTube, here I am with a project, an integration project that I recently did with the L Acoustic Systems. I have 4 X12, 2 X8, 2 main subwoofer the SB18 vertically placed and I have a single SB18 as the delay sub just besides the bar counter. It's a very small project so here I'll be focusing mainly on how we're aligning two subwoofers that are placed with a distance between them that is the main sub with the delayed sub i have a very basic smart setup here my laptop is connected via a usb with my sound card that's my lexicon u22 the first channel of the lexicon has my rta mic that's my isimcon and the link out of the second amp is coming as my reference the output of the lexicon are going to the first amp and the first amp is directly linked with the second amp it's an analog setup. So here we start aligning the main subwoofer with the delayed subwoofer. So here I am right now taking the reference of the main subwoofer. As we all know, subwoofer cannot be delayed track. So you can see my delay finder, it's zero. I do not need to track it because Subwoofer wavelengths are very big, that ranges from 5 meter to around 11 to 12 meter and the microphone is really not capable enough to trace that big wavelengths. So first thing what I try to do is like find a suitable spot and it can be like if I am putting too much delay, I will rather polarity reverse it. So here I have polarity reverse the sub that I am trying to align and now I have to put a very minimal delay to just get it aligned with the dark lines, the dark line being the main sub. And it's pretty much overlaying each other and that should do the job for us. And it's particularly aligning between the frequencies of 30 to 60. So let's see the trace of each subwoofer. So this being my first subwoofer near the DJ counter. This is the second that is summing up. And then we will see the third. And here we can see it's summing up again. So yeah, that defines like we are in the right path and our subwoofers are aligned. So in LA Network Manager, what we do is like we build multiple group as you can see, there is a main subgroup, there is also the delay subgroup. And I have created a consolidated a overall all subgroup. So now my task is like aligning the mains with the subs. So here I am taking reference of the X12 first. So now I will put the delay tracker on and here I am getting the reference of my X12. That's one of the main top. I won't be very much concerned about the coherence right here because I have already done my bit with that while I was taking the measurements from different locations. So here I can see the purple line is my top reference, the speaker reference, the X12 and the live thing is my main sub and I'll be putting the delay to try to overlay the green lines with my purple one. And slowly we can see the phase graph moving and overlaying on each other. Now, because it's an indoor venue, you cannot be very accurate with all the things. And plus, here the subwoofers are placed directly near a glass uh, wall and even the speaker. So it's okay to be in the range of 30 to 60 and till the time you're under, you're inside the 60 degree range plus minus. So here we are seeing like we are almost aligned in that phase and now let's start EQing the subwoofer here in the response you can see there is a lot of peaks and drops and that's basically because of the room nodes so what we are going to do is like we cannot produce something which is not there and it's purely cancelling out in some of the region rather 
we can definitely define the peaks so that it gives me a much smoother response so that's what i am trying to do is like i am trying to smoothen the peaks so that end of the line i get a much smoother response one thing is very important for everyone is like the smart we can see definitely what we are doing and but end of the day it's your year you have to listen to your best of the tracks that you know always create your reference tracks listen to your tracks in your headphone in your earphone and you will definitely get a good reference point where end of the line is like you should be happy listening to your favorite track on any system that you tune up so here we are almost done and listening to my favorite track i'm pretty much satisfied <laughs>